Hey, what's up, guys? Is what I would say if I didn't have something fucking bananas to show you today. So, as we all know, uh, Brainiac and crew have been working on NQ Next, uh, which is kind of colloquially the name for what will be the next major iteration of Macro Quest, which will just be Macro Quest, no two, uh, no next, no nada. Uh, hopefully, no crashes or bugs or broken shit either. Um, and we all love Macro Quest 2. It's really cool to see. Uh, this kind of major overhaul happen and get all these kind of new stuff uh, new functions and features in uh, on stuff we love so much please make sure that uh, if you run across any of these guys that uh, past present or future who have been have had or are working on macro quest you just throw them a high five and tell them how much you appreciate it there's a lot of work that goes into it and there's a lot of kind of unsung stuff ha that happens behind the scenes that takes not only a lot of time to you know, conceptualize and and put into actually apply it and put it into place. But also, uh, for many of these folks, years and years and years of learning and and you know, uh, <laughs> figuring out how to do, do stuff correctly to be able to do those next steps. Uh, because if this was easy, uh, all of us would do it, including myself. Um, and I can attest to the fact that a lot of this stuff really isn't easy, and it takes, you know, this takes kind of a lifetime worth of dedication to this is you know a, a part of me and who i am and what i do and uh and they're sharing that with us so make sure you uh you throw them a high five and uh you know maybe if you got a if you got a little extra coffee money maybe you throw a brain or nightly or one of those cats uh you know coffee on you i don't like coffee so for me like telling somebody to give somebody else coffee sounds terrible but you know <laughs> they probably like coffee anyhow let's get into this shit Easy find. Brainiac has been working on a replacement for MQ2 Easy Find to kind of build off the cool stuff that Easy Find d d did and does for uh, Macro Quest 2 and kind of take it to those next steps here for uh, Macro Quest, um, which I'm just going to call next. So for next, um, this is what that looks like. We're going to plug in MQ2 Easy Find, not plug in. Uh, I, I see you out there going. Oh, I said plug in. I didn't. I said plug in. Suck it. Uh, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna load Easy Find, and you'll see here added zone connections. We see an orange one and a yellow one. Hmm, interesting. Now that's important because uh, if we open our Easy Find window, we'll see there's some stuff. Uh, we'll see this is blue, and we'll see. Oh, wait a minute. Fear out the dream is orange. Now that's important uh, because those are things that are modified and added, just like it says here. Added zone connection, fear out the dream, and replaced zone connection, the fear out, with custom data. Now, here's what that looks like. Easy find uh, UI. We're going to type that out, and we're going to get a sweet easy find window. Now, I already had it open. That's why it was minimized. Just click, click that little, little triangle button saying I want it. Maximize, and you see here we have all of the zone stuff, kind of like what we see in the find window. Um, but if I click on here, and, and again, uh, well, here. If I click on Nexus, I see that it's unmodified and I can click Easy Find to it or Group Easy Find. I see that it's a switch with an ID. These are the locations and this is all the blah, 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 boring stuff. If I click on the Firat, which is modified by Easy Find, you'll see finding location data, original data, and then Easy Find data. Now, some of the stuff I know uh, Brain is still uh, still messing with. Again, this is a kind of a, a sneak peek, early, quick look, unreleased uh, try before you buy and I'll look at it at the first time kind of not this is not the end whatever so if you don't like it you can wait uh, but the cool thing with this is if you look down here there's a little Lua script now this is fantastic right so in plate of knowledge the fear rot is one switch right it's this switch 47 uh, or actually it doesn't switch four, switch ID four. Okay. It must be four. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Zone ID 47 switch ID is four. Now these are both the same and that's how it is in, in the actual zone itself. You go up to it, click it and you get a pop-up dialogue that says, would you like to go to fear out the dream? Or would you like to go to the regular old boring ass, you know, 1997, uh, fear out. It wasn't released in 1997. Sick. Yeah, I know it was a joke. Calm down. So, uh, because now and next we have, uh, we're able to use a Lua to do scripting and uh, Lua, NQ2 Lua allows us to do multiple uh, Lua scripts running 
uh, concurrently and coming and going as whatever calls them desires without interrupting one another. So the uh, macro quest macro language only, only allows us to run one macro at a time. So if you run another one, it ends it. Uh, so that's a little annoying. So Lua allows us to not have to worry about that uh, kind of limitation and allows us to do scripty stuff while we're doing other things. So if you notice here, the Firat, uh, this Lua script, and I don't know anything about Lua, but it's, it's fairly easy to follow along. So once we get to the thing, we're going to wait. Uh, we're going to wait five seconds. We're going to uh, we're going to open the large dialog window because we clicked the switch. So we got there, we clicked it. We're going to wait and see if that's open. If it is open, then we're going to click the no button with our left mouse, and then the script is going to end. Uh, and this is to go to the Firat. <clears throat> Firat the Dream is the same thing, but we click the yes button. And that's just because EQ used the uh, large dialog window with the yes and the no buttons and just re re uh, renamed them to Firat the Dream and uh, regular old Dusty Firat from 1997. Uh, so let's click one of these. Uh, so we're gonna click easy find and you can do slash easy find, uh, you know, Firat 2. Okay, so we're gonna click on the easy find thing and it's gonna go this and then it's gonna do that, uh, that thing there. Perfect. And we're entering uh, Firat the dream. <clears throat> All right, so we went to the dream, we're good. Uh, let's go back to plane of knowledge here, easy find. And I'm going to show you, uh, Brain has been working on the translocator, the teleporter people. Now, this is something that is really challenging uh, normally because you have to go to the thing, you have to, you know, know the mob. I don't know why I'm walking, we're gonna go to Guild Lobby. Now, currently, uh, travel to functionality is not in easy find. Uh, so that's something that Brainiac is actually working on probably this moment, sitting there typing away. Uh, I, I can't imagine he uses two fingers. Brainiac probably has like 15 hands with eight fingers on each hand. There's probably some like, you know, nerd joke in there about hexadecimal and his hands have letters and numbers in it when he counts them or something. I don't know. I don't know enough to make that joke, but just pretend that I said some cool like programmer joke there and be like, dude, that was the funniest joke I've ever heard. All right, we zoned in. Now again, uh, the blue stuff is the modified, the orange stuff is the stuff that was added by Easy Find. So we can see here that standard guild hall, neighborhood hall, these are these two things right here. So that's the big guild hall. Uh, the standard one over here is the small boy. Uh, there is no neighborhood button and that may or may not be something that eventually gets added. The problem with that thing is you click on that door and then you have to select out of all of the stuff what you need and it's not something you can get ahead of time and say, hey, I, I wanna populate this from like the zone finder thing or whatever. Um, so in the meantime, that's not something that, that is there, may or may not be in the future. But anyway, so this Magus here will give us an option to go to, uh, to go to Nadaria's landing. So let's click on this. And uh, if you see here, we have, again, we have this Lua script that says, basically the spawn is this location's name, spawn name, uh, which we have probably in the, f oh, here we go. Spawn name, Magus Alara, Alaria. So we say if, uh, you know, if spawn is not null, meaning, or nil, meaning if the spawn is here, then I want to target it, and then I want to wait just a smidge and hail it, and then wait another smidge, and then I want to say whatever the translocate keyword here is. And you can see this here, it says spawn name, Magus Alaria, and translator keyword Nadaria's landing, and we're going to easy find this, and it's going to travel in the thing. And... One thing you don't want to be is you don't want to be invisible. When I came and did this for the first time, I sat here for like five minutes like, why isn't it taking the two and the same the thing? It said the it said the thing, it didn't take me. And it's because I'm an idiot and I was invis. Anyway, so we come in here, we're in uh, Nadaria's landing and uh, we have all of these uh, orange locations, which again, these are ones that easy find added. I apologize if you can hear my dog click clacking. Uh, and the white one is just the regular, regular zone information thing uh, but so i can click on any of these and then i'm going to go to the guy and i'm going to say i'm going to say the shit you know um you can see here like if i click on everfrost peaks i'm going to go to magus uh wenla which is this dude here i'm going to use my transloader keyword everfrost let's do that real quick 
and off I go and I click it and do it. So this is really, really, really amazing uh, in the functionality that allows us to uh, utilize MQ2 Lua and do this cool scripting stuff. And uh, you know, we can go back here to um, Nadari's Landing. And uh, so that's that. So um, this is, again, this is early, super pre-release, super unseen, super bite-sized bite snippet, like, yo dog, here's a free sample. Uh, I'm gonna get your ass addicted to this shit. Uh, and then, you know, then the real thing is gonna come out at some later time uh, once you got, got your hook lined and sinkered. So um, if there's anything not in here, it probably will be. Um, if you are interested in checking it out yourself before it is added to the uh, the next build, um, it is in Brainiac's GitHub, which is talking slow. Uh, GitHub.com slash Brainiac slash MQ2 easy find. So that's the same uh, uh, area that his MQ2 nav is, which is Brainiac slash MQ2 nav. It's just uh, Brainiac slash MQ2 easy find. So if you're building for next, you can just add that as a sub module. Anyhow, so that's it. Uh, this is the uh, sneak peek of MQ2 easy find. Uh, make sure you uh, give Brainiac a high five and an attaboy. And thank you so much. Uh, we love you and all of that good stuff. But I will talk to you very soon.